He's giving me a little dog. Hi guys. It is a cold gray blah. Yuck winter day. Here we are again in the doom and gloom. It's a uh, I think we're at a Tuesday morning somewhere around January 10th, 2023. I'm beginning to lose track of the days of the week and the dates of the year as I drag on through uh, the house sitting slog. Anyway, whatever day it is, <coughs> somewhere in early 2023. And so, of course, everyone's looking at everybody's predictions for 2023. And uh, so we're going to go right here on the mainstream media and we're going to go back over to the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool. This is the short-term shallow end okay, of the Doomsday Prophecy Pool, where we're going to look at some economic forecast for the year 2023 as I prepare to make a trip to the grocery store. So before heading off to the grocery store, I should probably read this uh, right here in today's Yahoo News. This is the good old Associated Press. In Yahoo News, talking about the World Bank, uh, they have this great photo of the uh, Statue of Liberty. I wish, I, anyway, it would be, can't really show it to you. I'll put the link on here so you can check out the photo of the Statue of Liberty. Take it away. World Bank, what is going to happen in 2023? World Bank says, recession a looming threat for the global economy yes it is the global economy will come quote perilously close to a recession this year led by weaker growth in all of the world's top economies the United States Europe and China the World Bank warns today in its annual report, the World Bank, which lends money to poorer countries for development projects, that, that, that is a, that, that's a whole rant into itself. The World Bank, which lends money, lends money to poor countries for development projects, <clears throat> said it has slashed its forecast for global growth this year by nearly half to just 1.7% from its previous projection of 3%. If that forecast proves accurate and doesn't get a hell of a lot worse, uh, depending on which side of the uh, pool you swim in, if that forecast proves accurate, it would be the third weakest annual expansion in three decades behind only the deep recessions that resulted from the 2008 global financial crisis and the corona panic in 2020. Though the U.S. might, might avoid a recession this year, the World Bank predicts the U.S. economy will eke out growth of just 0.5%. Global weakness will likely pose another headwind for America's businesses and consumers on top of high prices and more expensive borrowing rates. The United States also remains vulnerable to further supply chain disruptions if corona panic keeps surging or Russia's war in Ukraine worsens. In Europe, long a major exporter to China will likely suffer from a weaker Chinese economy. The World Bank report also noted that rising interest rates huh, in developed economies like the United States and Europe 
will attract investment capital from poorer countries, thereby depriving them of crucial domestic investment. Uh, that, that's, a, that, that, that's a whole nother rant, which I'm not the, the person to do the rant on that loaded sentence. At the same time, the report said those high interest rates will also slow growth in developed countries at a time when Russia's invasion of Ukraine has kept world food prices high. This is the World Bank President David Malpass. Quote, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has added major new costs. The outlook is particularly devastating for many of the poorest economies where poverty reduction has already ground to a halt and access to electricity, fertilizer, food, and capital is likely to remain limited for a prolonged period. Yep, 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 yep. The impact of a global, turn, global downturn would fall particularly hard on poorer countries in such areas as Sub-Saharan Africa, which is now home to 60% of the world's poor people. The World Bank predicts per capita income will grow just 1.2% in 2023 and 2024, which is such a tepid pace that poverty rates could actually rise. Hmm. You know, when per capita income grows at 1.2% and prices grow at 8%, imagine that poverty rates could rise this year and next. Uh, quoting this dude, Malpass, quote, Weakness in growth and business investment will compound the already devastating reversals in education, health, poverty, and infrastructure, and the increasing demands from climate change. Addressing the scale of these challenges will require significantly more resources for development and global public goods, close quote. So is, is anyone failing to uh, understand the dots between the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool and the deep end, which of course is the ecological collapse? Uh, of the planet, along with seeking new financing so it can lend more to poorer countries, you know, for more infrastructure developments. <clears throat> along with seeking new financing so it can lend more to poorer countries, Malpass said the World Bank is, among other things, seeking to improve its lending terms that would increase debt transparency, I bet, quote, especially for the rising share of poor countries that are at high risk of debt distress, close quote. I, you know, I would really wish that someone uh, who understood all of this better than me could really break all of this uh, banker, bankster gobbledygook and explain, for instance, you, you know, this phrase, the rising share of poor countries that are at high risk of debt distress. Uh, what that actually looks like on the ground, probably see some uh, 
dead goat lying on the ground in Somalia to see what that looks like dying on the ground. <clears throat> the World Bank report follows a similarly gloomy forecast from last week from Christina Georgieva, the head of the International Monetary Fund, the global lending agency. Georgieva estimated on CBS's Face the Nation that one-third of the world will fall into recession this year. <clears throat> Quote, for most of the world economy, this is going to be a tough year, tougher than the year we have left behind. Why? Because the three big economies, the U.S., European Union, and China, are all slowing down simultaneously, close quote. The World Bank projects that the European Union's economy won't grow at all next year after having expanded 3.3% last year. It foresees China growing at 4.3%, nearly a percentage point lower than it had previously forecast, and about half the pace that Beijing posted in 2021. The bank expects developing countries to fare better, growing 3.4% this year, the same as in 22 though still only about half the pace of 2021. It forecasts Brazil's growth slowing to 0.8% in 2023, down from 3% last year. And in Pakistan, it expects the, the economy to expand just 2% this year, which is one third of last year's pace. Other economists have also issued bleak outlooks, though most of them not quite as dire. Economists at JP Morgan are predicting slow growth this year for advanced economies and the world as a whole, but they don't expect a global recession. Last month, the bank predicted that slowing inflation, slowing inflation, huh, will bol bolster consumers' ability to spend and power growth in the United States and elsewhere. Yes, quote, the global expansion will turn into 2023 bent, but not broken, the J.P. Morgan report said. Anyway, guys, we shall see about all of that, but uh, <laughs> we will see how my Airbnb business, Airbnb business fares this summer. Now that I have uh, built three tiny houses, and just got, uh, I, I got back in the club of being an Airbnb super host. So uh, I hope you can come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, in Ithaca, New York, and uh, celebrate the collapse of the global economy in 2023. But anyway, with that out of the way, I have to... Uh, check out the inflation of groceries, tequila, and internet cables in the opening bell of 2023. I highly suggest you get out there and hoard groceries while you still can. Bye guys.